Hello everybody, McCune here. Um, this is a commentary on Black Ops 2 of a pretty nice gameplay I got the other week. Um, I think I go like 80 something, 22. Uh, probably could have got 100 kills if I played a bit more cautious and uh, careful and uh, like played to get my kill streaks. But um, when I was on like dogs and stuff or V sets, I was just running in, not dogs, swarm. So yeah, if I'd played it a bit better, I probably could have got a swarm and got a lot more kills. But today I want to talk about what makes a good player or sniper or and gameplay and clip. Because, you know, it's a thing that a lot of people wonder. Um, like, in my opinion, a good player is someone who's accurate and consistent and can hit shots that you know you, you don't really think you don't really expect people to hit well not really what you expect to hit but like how to explain someone that can carry on a streak an accurate streak and you know not die stay alive and hit all their shots um, you see a lot of people I mean I, I've done it in the past uh, and like I'm sure everyone has where people use barrets and stuff and just lay on the floor and sniping shit like on on model for three was it a lot of people played drop zone and used the barret with c4s and stuff and you know just laid on the floor and watched spawns and in my opinion that isn't like that doesn't mean you're a good player if you get a lot of kills with that i mean it's just camping uh i like to watch people who rush uh that's in my opinion that's what a good player is someone's accurate and fast paced or well, not good player i mean like good sniper because there's a there's a big difference between a good player on Call of Duty and a good sniper, because people someone might be very good with the sniper but be terrible with a red gun. And to be a good player, you need to be good with all weapons. Like professional players like Nature and Scumpy, I mean, they're good players, but in my eyes, like they're not like they're obviously they're not good. Well, Nature's quite a good sniper, but like uh, it's hard to explain really, but there's a difference between a good player and a good sniper. A good sniper is someone who's accurate and fast paced and can hit all their shots. A good player is someone who... Did I say good sniper a minute ago? Yeah. But uh, a good player is someone who can win. You know, they play to win. Uh, a good sniper in my opinion, like... Names off the top of my head. Pamad is a good player, he's quite accurate. Uh, he rushes in. Um, one of my favourite players is and Mento, uh, the team team Fear, the, all their snipers, they're all good players, I mean they're basically VR, I mean VR was probably one of the most skillful teams around, well a lot of people do say they are the most skillful team around and the players in Fear, I mean they're some of the best players I've seen, not players, I mean snipers uh, a lot of them are, I oh, know Mento's quite good with red guns but uh, they, they're not big on YouTube like not everyone knows who they are, not everyone watches their videos, like teams like Faith and stuff, they get 200, they've got what, 1.3 million subs or something, and a lot of that's off trick shot, and in, in my opinion that isn't, that doesn't mean you're a good sniper, but uh, I'm not saying they're a bad team or anything, I mean, like, they are the biggest sniper team around, so obviously they're not bad, they are good snipers and that, but a lot of them are trick shotters, but, in my, like, it's hard to explain, it's hard to get my point across without like offending anyone. Uh, I'm not trying to like say anyone's bad or anything, but because uh, I know F FaZe are a really good team. <coughs> a lot of people follow them. Uh, they're, they're the biggest sniper team on YouTube. And is this gameplay lagging? I'm sorry if it is. I think it might be. But uh, yeah, they're not like... I wouldn't consider all of the team good snipers because a lot of them are just trick shots. But you know that's they are good at the entertainment value of YouTube. So you know I'm not like knocking them or anything. But uh, in, like players that are like the best snipers around, they're not always big on YouTube and stuff. So not everyone knows who they are, which you know is, is I don't know it's quite annoying because. I know YouTube's all entertainment, but a lot of people like rate players on skill, but 
no one notices like the really good players because they're not getting quad feed after quad feed after quad feed, like five man feeds and stuff. They're just hitting all their shots, uh, like the accurate, the fast paced, like again, Amento, he's a sick player. Like, I, I know a few people consider him one of the best around, but in my opinion, he's got like one of the best shots I've seen, to be honest with you. He's, he's really accurate and stuff. Uh, can't really name anyone else off the top of my head, but there's a lot of players around that aren't big on YouTube, but are really sick players, like really sick snipers, and they just don't get noticed because of they don't hit clips and clips and clips and make montages after montages. Which uh, brings me to my next point. Um, what makes a good clip? Uh, in my opinion, it's accuracy, the shots. Uh, I don't really, I don't like to look at the feed, but with today's YouTube standards, I mean, if you want to grow on YouTube, you need to follow the standards. It's like, you can't not follow the standards of YouTube and get big, because the standards are set for entertainment, because that's what people enjoy to watch, because, what's the word, is it aesthetic, aesthetics, or, I can't even, I don't know the word, but like, I mean, their shots, their clips look nice because of the kill feed and the clean and stuff but that's like that's what people see as a good clip uh, and I don't think that should be the case to be honest with you I mean I think a lot of people should look at accuracy the shots um, you know just the actual skill the actual shot itself rather than the kill feed down on the left hand side and all that like people who get stack shots stack clips like plus 20s and stuff and got forming like with the red gun red gun red sniper like all quick scopes cross map that is in my opinion that's one of the best clips you can hit like a stack cross map quick scopes uh i know a lot of people a lot of people are like with me on, my, on this argument but there is a vast majority of people who watch youtube uh who don't agree with that thing. They they still prefer to enjoy like watch kill feeds and stuff. And a lot of you probably say like, well, you post kill feeds rather than just accurate streaks because I'm looking to grow on YouTube. I'm not like obviously I use YouTube to sort of show my skill like in gameplays and stuff like uh gameplays like this. I mean my my shot was quite sick. Well, not sick, but it was quite good. Uh, and I got quite a lot of kills and it's fast paced so this is a good gameplay in my opinion uh, this shows off not shows off but like this shows some skill uh, rather than me just sitting hard scoping like areas of a XPR or something I mean in my last few episodes my clips of a lot of them have been with the XPR I mean it's because when I play the DSR blister I don't get quad feet for some reason like I very rarely get like quad feeds, five mans, or triples and stuff with other weapons except for the X part I don't know why, but um, hopefully I can get a few more clips with other guns. I mean, I hit a clip today with the DSR on what map is it? The grind, one of the new maps. Um, I'll actually be looking to get out with some gameplay for that soon. But um, <coughs> yeah, this commentary is sort of all over the place. So I apologise for that. Um, I'm just trying to get a point across. I'm trying to get a point across, across the point of skill over, like, entertainment. In my opinion, I mean, it, it, YouTube would be so much different if people looked at it like that. Like, looked at the shots and stuff. A lot of players wouldn't be as big as they are because a lot of pe people playing six-man parties and just like watch spawn areas and just hard scope wait for people to run towards them then hit a little lucky triple uh, again like what makes a good clip people see respect a triple more than uh, four quick scopes cross map split I mean the four quick scopes takes a lot more skill than hitting a random triple like three people in one bullet I mean that is luck I mean a lot of YouTube is based off luck Kill feeds are luck because you gotta be lucky to get the get the feed uninterrupted and have the four people in the same area and be able to take them all out without them shooting you. 
Um, I'm sorry I'm going to have to cough. <coughs> but yeah, um, I hope a lot of people agree with me on this. Uh, if you do or don't, leave a comment in the comment section below. This gameplay sort of coming to an end. Uh, leave your thoughts on this subject, like what makes good gameplay, like I say. In my opinion, it's accuracy, shots, uh, high kills, fast paced, and you know, just ent like just I find that a lot more enjoyable to watch. Uh, this gameplay has now come to an end, but yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll hopefully do a cover, -er, like uh, another video about this once I get other people's opinions or so talk about other things. But, um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts, suggestions, or whatever, and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.